Pika is just a puppy, too young for the police dog training academy, but her pre-training with a Kamloops Mountie has already begun, both for her and for him. If all goes as planned, Pika will one day be a police service dog like Marouk. He got to uh, catch his first bad guy the other night, so that was, that was exciting for both him and me. So, uh... Marouk and his handler recently graduated from the training program in Innisfail, Alberta, and are already out on calls in the tournament capital. Pika is still a few years away from that. She's living in Kamloops with RCMP Constable Isles. The experience is training for Pika as well as Isles, who hopes to one day become an RCMP dog handler. Very common occurrence is like when stolen vehicles are, are dumped by somebody who's taken a stolen vehicle. That's, that's a very common call that they would, dog handlers would call for missing persons is really, really big as well. Um, that's something we haven't been involved with yet, but I'm sure it's coming. But these dogs have multiple talents, including locating narcotics and tracking. Mako is the newest canine to the team, and he specializes in finding explosives. As an exercise, his handler has hidden explosive materials around cars. Mako then searches around the vehicle and sits when he finds it. For Mako, it's a game, but it's also training him to act in a life or death situation. These guys really, they put their lives on the line. And all for very, very, very little reward. So um, they're more involved in kind of some of the more higher risk arrests and, and things of that nature. Along with their specialties, they also perform general skills like tracking. Um, their tracking profile is uh, is my favorite thing because it's it's not. I feel like we don't report on that as much as we should. How truly amazing these animals are, and I think going through training and then experiencing different calls, uh, we really. I think we really fail to give them the credit they properly deserve for how, how skilled and talented they are. So. Sydney Chisholm, Castanet News, Kamloops.